What is going on guys and I hope you guys are doing well. So today we're going to be focusing on my X-Ventures diesel heater. If you've been keeping up with my Instagram, you'll know that I've been using this diesel heater on my last couple of trips and it's been an absolute game changer. Now for the past couple of years, I have been using a Mr. Buddy heater, but over time I have found a few flaws that have definitely made me hesitate uh, when using it. That's the fumes that it creates, that's the fact that it gets extremely hot, and eventually if you have your sleeping bag right next to you, your socks, your tent, it can pretty much cause a fire inside your tent and that's the last thing we want. So I started looking through the forums and I did come to a conclusion that a diesel heater uh, was going to be my best option. Um, and I just it just happens to be that one of my good friends out in Gardena, uh, which is a subscriber of this channel, just happens to make these. Now once the unit was ready, I headed over to Gardena to pick it up um, at his place and I was absolutely just amazed by the craftsmanship, just the small details that were put into this unit. And uh, I wanted to simply just go out, I wanted to use it, and I wanted to just experience this unit for myself. And now that I have, I decided it was finally time to make a video and just kind of show you guys what it offers and just the overall functionality of this unit. I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it just as much as I do. So we're gonna open it up. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's inside, the way it works, how I power it, other options to power it. And I think overall, once this video is done, you guys are absolutely gonna love it as well. All right guys, so here we have everything laid out. And a really neat thing about this unit is that everything that you do see here, everything actually fits inside. So it makes it extremely portable. You don't have to worry about things getting lost. And uh, yeah, so let's go over pretty much what, what it comes with. So you have a small little exhaust here, uh, which in my case I don't use, but it does come with it. You also have a wireless fob. You can actually turn on the diesel heater uh, up from your tent. You don't have to worry about using the controller. So a little fob makes it extremely useful. You have your harness, which is all made in house. Extremely well done. You have your hose that goes from the diesel heater to your rooftop or your canopy, whatever you're using it for. Now we also have small connectors here if you're gonna be running it off your battery. And you also have a digital controller that basically gives you a complete overview of the temperature, the speed of the fan, and any other configurations that you might want to do, uh, timers, etc. Now we've made it to the back of the truck and before we get it started, I want to show you guys what it offers and where everything is placed. So we have our intakes here, we have our connection for the harness right in between them. Now this one here is the 5 liter option. Uh, they do offer three versions or three options. So they do offer the five liter, seven liter, and 10 liter. In my case, I think five liters is enough for me. Um, and then the fact that, you know, most gas stations do carry diesel, it's very easy to uh, refill this thing whenever it runs out. A uh, five liter will run you for about two to three days, depending on how high you run it. Uh, now on this side, you will have your exhaust and you'll, also, you'll have your, your actual heater itself. Um, this is one of those areas that you definitely do not want to touch uh, when you are using it or have anybody get near it, any kiddo, any dog, just because this thing does get extremely hot and it will burn your fingers off. Uh, now in my case, I always like to put the hose first before actually starting it because this itself also gets hot. Uh, not as hot as the exhaust, but this will definitely burn your hands when trying to put that hose and that uh, clamp uh, when it's already warm. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our hose and uh, you will have a hose clamp that I already pre-installed on my last trip. And we are just basically going to slide it right in, just like that. And the neat thing is that I have this hose clamp not super tight, but tight enough to actually hold it. It's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, but if you wanna just make sure that this thing is actually secure, it's not gonna go anywhere, you can actually just tighten it up uh, just a bit with a flathead or Phillips screwdriver. But in my case, I kinda have it perfect, so it's not gonna be sliding out. Now, 
this side here will go into your canopy or into your tent, wherever you're gonna be sleeping. And the neat thing is that it does have another hose clamp to keep this little vent in place. And you can just pretty much close the zipper to where it hits that hose clamp and this will not fall out at night. Now we can grab our harness and connect this blue connector into the diesel heater. You're gonna put it in and you're gonna just twist it to the right till it snaps. Now to remove it, the same thing, you're gonna pull this little lever down, turn it and remove it just like that. Now before we connect our diesel heater to power, we are gonna be connecting the digital controller. We'll have a small little connector like this. All we're gonna do is just plug it in. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our connector, plug it to power, and we should be good to go. Now, a neat thing about this unit is that you will be able to use your Jackery 500, your Jackery 1000, Jackery 1500, 2000, anything that has a constant 12 volt you can use to power uh, this diesel heater. Now, I would definitely recommend you testing this out at home before you actually take it out. Uh, just to get an idea exactly how many hours you're gonna be getting off your Jackery unit. Now, in my case, I'm pretty blessed. I did have Tiny Rayco out in Westminster work on a crazy system that basically is charging 24 seven. I do have a 100 amp lithium battery powered by a 200 watt Red Arc solar panel on top of my rack. So I never have to worry about this diesel heater ever dying on me unless I run out of fuel. So since we're not camping today, I did go ahead and remove the hose just to give you guys more of a clear view of what's going on all we're going to do now is just prime the unit before using it so all we're going to do is we're going to push the up and down together and you should hear the pump go off now that the unit is primed all we're going to do is just simply turn it on A neat thing about this controller is that it does tell you everything that's going on. From that diesel heater going on like it just did, from the fan working, the fuel pump pumping, basically tells you everything so you're well aware of what's going on. And these guys have already preset pretty much everything. All you have to do is turn it on, allow the heater to do its job, and right now just sit back and relax. You will notice that the heater will get a little louder and louder. It's basically just going up to temperature. It's gonna warm up that diesel heater. And then once it does, it's gonna go back to normal. It's gonna normalize and just run nice and smooth for the rest of the night. So here's a quick overview of my layout and how I set it up at camp. So we have the diesel heater right on top of the ultra table. And I love that because it keeps both the heater and it keeps this area which gets extremely hot off the floor. Doesn't affect any critters or anything that could be hanging out. We go around, we have the harness which feeds into this cubby which has my 12 volt uh, power unit. And also we have the main hose that transfers the heat going into this window here. Now, as far as the digital controller goes, I feed it through the front window. And last but not least, we do have the fob. This thing I always leave outside. That way I have full control, whether I'm down here or up there. So overall, to just conclude everything that we've talked about today, this heater has changed the game for me. It's allowed me to sleep better at night knowing that I don't have to worry about carbon monoxide buildup. I don't have to worry about anything catching on fire, whether it's my socks, my sleeping tent, or possibly me even just rolling over and hitting it and burning myself. And the fact that it's so easy to store, so compact, fits pretty much anywhere, just makes it the ideal heater 
for us that love going off grid for multiple days. Now, the old buddy heater did use propane tanks, the little green canisters. If you run out, you have to go to Walmart, you have to go to CVS, you have to go pretty much, I don't know, gas station might have them. But if they don't, then you're out of luck. You're gonna pretty much either need a really good sleeping bag or you're gonna have a really hard night of just being cold. The fact that this is diesel, I can pick this up at my local gas station and power this whenever I want. Pfft. That, my friends, is key. So that's just my thought. I've been using it for a couple days, meaning a couple weekends, a couple trips, and it's been solid. But it's up to you to decide if this is what's right for you. This is just a product that I truly believe in. I truly love it. And uh, I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you guys want to check this heater out, you already know everything will always be down below in the bio. Check it out. Support these guys. It's a very small family owned business. As of now, I know for a fact these guys are going to blow up. But yeah, check them out. Support them. Buy one off of them. I promise you won't be disappointed. And as always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to continue watching more content like this, yeah, that's a total plug. Subscribe, like, do whatever you need to do, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>